My Home NC is made possible by the financial contributions of viewers like you and by Power. We use it every day in nearly everything we do. And here in North Carolina, public power is energizing resources, knowledge, and expertise to deliver you safe and reliable power. Together, we shine bright. All across the state, we're uncovering the unique stories that make North Carolina my home. We are heading to Topsail Beach to meet with Doris Jenkins. She has an unusual job. She runs the post office by day and then a roller skating rink by night in the same building. She and her husband built that roller rink over 60 years ago. And when you walk into the roller rink, people tell me it's nothing short of magic. Well, I've done it so many years. That's all I know to do. I'm Doris Jenkins, and my home is Topsail Beach, North Carolina. I've been public, in the public eye all my life, and I just enjoy the public. Thank you, Ms. Bye -bye. Doris. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. The name of our business is the Topsail Skating Rink. Hey, Miss Doris. Hey. Where's my box room? I work in the post office in the morning. And I roller skating at night. Have people ever come up to you and said how unique it is to see a post office and a roller rink above it? What do people say about that? Oh, uh, they've just never seen it before. We put it upstairs to keep the hurricanes from messing up the floor. My husband designed the building and we built it ourselves in May of 1964. We met at Skating Rink and his name is Joseph Jenkins, but they call him Sonny. He was three and a half years older than me, so he didn't look at me. <laughs> we just enjoyed it. I mean, we just, we just love skating. Sometimes they come in and say, well, I haven't skated in 40 years. And I'll say, put your skates on and hang around the rail till you get used to it. Y'all stay under your numbers. Stay under your numbers. I don't hear any music playing. Don't move again until the music starts to play. We have to let the number that's called out leave the floor and stay engaged. Wait, what kind of music do you guys play? 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. I got a whole stack of Elvis Presley. We don't play acid rock and all that other stuff. Which music do you like to hear the most? Oh, I skate by the slow stuff. When I'm out there skating and doing this, I don't think of nothing else. If I did, I wouldn't be able to skate. So you have done some couple skating in your time. Oh yeah, quite a few miles, quite a few miles. I wish he was here, I'd skate tonight with him, but he's not. When was he diagnosed with Alzheimer's? Four years ago, this past October was four years ago. And I wish, I wish I could tell him and Sonny, you remember so and so, but he, I can say that, but he doesn't. 
I don't try to say things like that because then I won't cry. <laughs> Still got escapes. So I wouldn't. I wouldn't do nothing with escapes. Still got his skates, and they'll be right there. It's one place that all the family can come, and they can all do the same thing, not having to bring their worries and troubles and all that. We're just an old time skating rink, and people love it. The next day, you can all skate, everybody skates. I see my skates. Self skating till I'm 125. <laughs>
Is this what you normally do? You're gonna check. What are you? Yeah, doing I'm right gonna now? check right now because we just ate. Well, I really hope they just don't think of necessarily the diabetic part and just think you know they were a good player for the team and you know if they want like think and wow they did play through that. Called against the Panthers. Five yard penalty moves the ball back to the 20 yard line. I'm Zach Jackson. I'm Will Jackson. And our home is Chico Pin, North Carolina. We've been playing football since seventh grade. So I think this is our fifth season or sixth yeah. season. I play cornerback and wingback. Oh, no, I play the same thing. Come on, block that man, 54. Do you think that's because you're twins? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We're type 1 diabetics, so we're having to manage uh, our blood sugar to make sure it's not too high or too low so we can uh, still play. I'm Karen Jackson. And I'm Jared Jackson. We're the parents of Will and Zach. The boys both have been diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, an autoimmune illness that um, affects the beta cells in the pancreas, makes them, kills them off essentially, and so they do not produce insulin. I was five when I was diagnosed. I just remember being in the hospital, I was very sick, and then they just told me I had diabetes. I was kind of, you know, okay, I'm five, so I don't know what that means. It was still kind of tough seeing, like, you know, having to see Will have it all those years. I just start giving shots and sticking needles in me like three or four times a day, freaking like eight times a day. So that was kind of hard on me as like a little kid. And I never really thought I was gonna get it, but yeah, then I did. So I already kind of knew a lot more. Make sure when you, uh, when you eat lunch that you get some protein in there. And then the, the constant concern about hypoglycemia, them going really low, bottoming out. Diabetes, it's relentless. You know, it doesn't give you any day off. So uh, for me to see the boys out there, um, their strength and resiliency to press on and not let diabetes hold them back, I, I admire that in them tremendously. Is this what you normally do? You're going to check? What are you yeah, doing? Yeah, I'm going to check right now because we just ate. And then after that, it's gonna, I'm going to see what it is right now so I can go ahead and give a correction if I need some insulin, if I maybe need some more food. 366, it's a little high. <laughs> you get too high, I gotta sit them out. They get too low, I gotta sit them out. We gotta get them you know, pretty much stable. Zach, let's get your sugars before half, all right? Go, go. Trader Michael's very good with it because he'll, you know, he'll get you taken care of and he won't let you on the field until you're right. good to go. 288, you're, you're running a little high. Hop on your pump for halftime, all right? Well, high is very much of a, you're very thirsty, your, your body might start to cramp a little bit. You don't hydrate at all, or if you don't, you know, give the right amount of insulin, you can go high and you get really sick. If we get dehydrated, that can be a hospital trip. The way I look at it, I can do anything a normal person can, so. I'm not going to try to have it be a limiting factor, so I'm just going to push through and enjoy and do what I want to do. For a lot of like younger kids who get it, like it, they might not know what it's like and be scared of it, so I hope they can look at us and see it. this doesn't really stop you or anything.
does NASCAR and helping animals have to do with each other? Well, it's all wrapped up in the love story of NASCAR driver Ryan Newman and his wife Chrissy and their passion to help animals and educate others at their rescue ranch. The love that animals give you is just something that you don't get anywhere else, and, and they can't speak for themselves. <laughs> the idea of Rescue Ranch is to educate kids so that the kids can help everybody rescue the animals that need help. I'm Ryan Newman. And I'm Chrissy Newman. And our home is Statesville, North Carolina. Well, I drive race cars for a living, so um, in the NASCAR Monster Energy Cup Series, so I stay busy doing that. Well, we are co-founders of Rescue Ranch, and um, I'm the president of the organization and kind of operate the day-to-day. -day. The need is everywhere. We needed to kind of centralize what we were doing and try and make a bigger impact to start in our own backyard and to do it with education, to bring the kids in and teach them what we would want them to learn. I do whatever she tells me to, and that usually revolves around the rescue ranch. <laughs> Right now we are standing um, along the fence line here at Rescue Ranch. So we are on 87 acres. We were just talking one day about what we wanted to call what we were doing. And he said, well, I, it's a ranch. Why don't you just call it Rescue Ranch? It's what you want to do. So it kind of stuck. Here comes Ryan. So this is how he drives the tractor mostly? Yes. <laughs> Wide open? Wide open? Yeah. That's how he drives anything. I think it all started with dogs and cats in general. For me, more dogs than cats, but um, just across the board, uh, what animals do for us, um, the unconditional loving that our personal pets give us. In 2004, Ryan and I uh, really started doing a lot with humane societies and, and talking about responsible pet ownership. She's more of the educational mindset, and I'm more of the uh, hands-on maintenance guy. I think it adds more work on his plate because I have a I doubled, be fishing right now. doubled the honey do list, but he, he's been great. And doubled? The, yeah, doubled. We got the house and then the ranch. Mm -hmm. You choose to do the farm, mm -hmm. so that's on you. Mm -hmm. So you have all kinds of different animals here. Tell me a little bit about some of the animals you have. We have a lot of different species, um, and we do that because we like to show the variations to the kids. And then for Java, you can touch along his back and you can touch his tail too to see what that feels like. Each animal has a story that's what's really interesting. They do. Um, so when we first got her, she came, um, one of our volunteers, she was in a hoarding situation with about 40 other birds. I have literally not taken in any animals for Rescue Ranch. No, you It has all not. been yours truly. But you do like some. I think his favorite now are the turkeys. The turkeys are kind of cool because I can communicate with them. Can you do, do turkey No, I'm not going to call for you. <laughs> Here, turkey, turkey, turkey. <laughs> It's part of who Ryan and I are, working with animals and, and wanting to give back and, and doing more. And when we see an animal hurting or an animal in need, our immediate instinct is to go help. My hope is that everything we do here at the ranch makes it a sustainable asset for the community. We're not gonna be here forever, but the program needs to be here forever. And the facility needs to be here forever. My perspective is to just make it so that the community can embrace it, enjoy it, and use it, and make a difference. I 
love the name Hot Dog World. Where, where, where did you get that? Where did you decide to use Hot Dog World? Because it's all encompassing hot dogs. My father-in-law who started the business, the, the previous shop that he had opened up and sold was called Hot Dog King. And he sort of wanted to distinguish the, the difference between the two, two businesses. What is the favorite, the house favorite? I think the slaw dog is the house favorite. He has mustard, chili, onion, and the slaw on top. When do we have a hot dog? Maybe it's at the ballpark, maybe it's at, a, at the stadium, maybe it's somewhere that we just feel good. It's Americana. Thank you. It's good to see you again. Have a wonderful day. My name is Steve Katsadouros. My home is Hendersonville, North Carolina. I am owner-operator of the Hot Dog World since 1986. This is Tanasi. He's my business partner. We've been together working on 20 years. I was actually born in Greece. My family immigrated to the United States in 1972. I grew up in Charlotte. Graduated from UNC in Chapel Hill in 1982. I met my wife. Her father had ran a hot dog stand in Albany, Georgia, and he was successful at it, and he was very good at it. So he retired from Albany, Georgia, got bored, and then we wanted to open up a hot dog stand again. And we started to work at the business. There's 165 places in Henderson County you can go eat, but you chose to come here, and I have to show my gratitude. What is it about a hot dog world hot dog that makes people just drive for miles to come get it? What is it? And, and actually, they literally do. People drive from upstate South Carolina when they're visiting from the coast as far south as Florida. The majority of our customer base is local, Hendersonville. People just enjoy a hot dog and, and, and having the ability to dress it up as they like it, I think makes a difference from nothing on it at all to a plain hot dog to just load it up. Some people like the, the, the foot long, sell more slaw dogs than any of the other. The traditional chili dogs, or conies as they call them, is the mustard, chili, and onions. We toast our buns and we use a special bun that's sliced on top versus uh, the traditional uh, hot dog bun that we buy at the grocery store. But we sell about six, 7,000 hot dogs a week. Uh, the most interesting way that someone has dressed up their hot dog is with peanut butter. They want a peanut butter on the hot dog. Who are we to say that it's not good? We make it. But I must confess that I've never tried it. We bring our Greek heritage into the business uh, at the request of our customers. Obviously, most of them know that I'm, I'm Greek, and they would say, oh, there's not a place here that serves a Greek salad. Later, there we get a request for a gyro sandwich. Nobody served a gyro here. Small chef, small garden, no cheese, large tea, please. We have staff that's been with us for, you know, Wendy's been here for almost 29 years. The young lady's been 18, and the young lady's been 26. I know she looks. Josie looks also 15, but she's been here 10 years. So the fountain of youth is hot dogs. Is that yeah, what we're that's right. <laughs> a hot dog in the 30 years that we have been in business, people have uh, uh, come to recognize us for outstanding service, quality food, and something different. We hope 100% of the people who leave, leave happy and satisfied. For more of My Home and Sea, head over to our website. It's where you'll find exclusive online debuts, stories, full episodes, recipes, and behind-the-scenes glimpses 
in our Extra Helping section. Visit unctv.org slash myhome right now and let us know what you think. We use it every day in nearly everything we do. And here in North Carolina, public power is energizing resources, knowledge, and expertise to deliver you safe and reliable power. Together, we shine bright.